Becoming a writer, I think, was something that was, I always had in the back of my mind that one day I would like to do. Uh, but what inspired me, or what really got me going, I guess, was when the controller of drama at Thames Television told me that if I wanted to become a producer, I ought to write. I don't think he gave me another thought after that. It was just to get me out of his office. However, I took him at his word, and off I went, and wrote myself out of television and into publishing. When I was younger, I thought I would be an air hostess or a model, or maybe I'd be swept off my feet by the Duke of Daring Do, because I was a big Georgette Hare fan, you see. Uh, but then when I got a reality check, grew up, I thought I would really like to be a TV producer. And I guess I still would in some ways, but I'm kind of out of the loop now. Having my first book published was exhilarating, fantastic, of course. But it was kind of unbelievable too, like it was happening to somebody else. Actually, I remember seeing all these books lined up on the shelf and these gorgeous legs and thinking, oh, wouldn't it be wonderful if they were mine? I'm not thinking about the books, thinking about the legs. <laughs> but I also remember thinking, oh, my dad would be so proud. And he was. The two best things about being a writer are when the characters take over because that's when I kind of really know that the book's underway. And the other thing, which is kind of joint first, is when I hear from a reader and they let me know that the book has reached them and touched them in some way. That's, that's really fantastic. I mean, that's what it's all about and what makes it worthwhile.